Hello my friends and welcome to a very special episode of Weekly Walkthrough. I'm so glad that you joined me because I have a very special house to show you. It is the famed Paulson House. If you live in Portland, Oregon, you know this house. Located in the Brooklyn neighborhood, built in 1892 by Johann Paulson, a timber baron in the late 1800s of uh, Portland, he built this incredible Queen Anne Victorian. Here's a shot of it from the outside. What a fantastic structure. Now, let's go on a tour through. Come on in. Here we come into the front, front entryway. I'm going to be pointing out a, few, a bunch of really amazing details to this house as we go through this main floor, and then you're just going to see them reoccurring throughout the house. Right off the bat, gorgeous original woodwork for the fireplace mantle and the uh, original coal burning insert with a beautiful decorative piece of Queen Nefertiti who was really in style in 1890. You've got the original bay windows, curved glass double hang windows with their leaded weights inside that just move great lead and glass windows up top. Wayne Scotting painted white and beautiful wallpaper all throughout. This is just the front entrance. Also, if you notice on the floor, all throughout this main floor, it's a combination of oak and mahogany with mahogany inlay. Coming through here, we've got an expanse of living room. Almost every light fixture in this home, whenever you look up, you're going to see a painted medallion. Through into here what is considered the dining room of the house. Once again, original wood wainscoting and large bay windows looking out onto Powell. Note the very high ceilings all throughout the main floor. Let's continue on this way really quick. We're going to jump into what is the kitchen today. And what is the kitchen today was not the kitchen of yesteryear. Later on, we're gonna go into the basement, but I want you to just take a note that at one time, when it was originally built, this was the servants' quarters of the house, and directly below us was the kitchen next to uh, the original coal-burning boiler unit. So we'll see that when we come back. They've done a wonderful job um, remodeling this kitchen with marble countertops matching on the island and on the counters. As we move out of the kitchen, uh, we notice our second entrance to the home with the beautiful transom window that has the stained glass uh, address of the house. I love transom windows like that. And you'll also note all throughout the house, every switch plate is done in this beautiful ornate gold, uh, including a lot of uh, the uh, outlet plates. Let's take a look upstairs so much more to see. Actually, one more thing I'll point out really quick, we have great light on it. Take a look at all the custom ornate woodwork on every door. Every door in the house has this great ornate woodwork and loads of beautiful ornate uh, brass pieces uh, for the door and for the doorknob, but they, those ones vary in different parts of the house. The oak and mahogany would continue on the stairs as we go upstairs, as do the beautiful, beautiful hand railings and spindles all the way up. Now that we're on the second floor, just to make sure that I, I'm filling in all the great detail of the parts of the house, I'm going to refer to a handy little cheat sheet. Here in, in the hallway, I'm going to point out these great Art Nouveau chandeliers. There's three of them that go right down the hallway and all have painted medallions above. In this, the Mount St. Helens bedroom, once again, painted medallion with its own custom chandelier. Windows that already at this height have a fantastic view of the downtown. 
looking across the Ross Island Bridge and through the Fremont Bridge. Decorative doors, beautiful plates. Great painted wainscoting throughout down the hall. This bathroom right here was originally a trunk room for the house. We know this because on the inside of the door, rather than having the extra ornateness that every other door had, it's just a plain wood door. But it's been finished in a great style, keeping with the age. Uh, we certainly see this type of tile in bathrooms all throughout Portland uh, for homes built from 19, or 1898 on to into the 1920s. Certainly see lots of that tile around and a very original clawfoot bathtub, all its original piping. Here in what's known as the East Bedroom, the point of note here is that this chandelier and medallion were shipped in from Australia. This would be considered the master bedroom of the house. This is my favorite medallion. If you're keeping track of which one you like the best, this is certainly my favorite uh, with its chandelier. And then, I love these, this is really neat. These sconces are combination electric and gas. These would be gas burning lights, uh, faux candles with the gas burning right there. And then through to our Gothic style office, right above where we had come in downstairs and we saw those bay windows once again, curved bay windows, which are just fantastic. It's, uh, they're just so wonderfully done. Great woodwork uh, throughout again, original woodwork, including that that we see here on our fireplace, wood burning fireplace. Let's go up another floor. The ceiling height continued to be just outstanding on that second floor, and it gets a little bit more to our, our normal height of ceiling now that we're up to the third floor of the house. This has a little bit of a mismatch of parquet floors and original wood floors. The house is zoned uh, general commercial, and that's why we're seeing a lot of rooms that look like offices. Uh, there's tenants that currently occupy uh, the building with these being offices. But all of this space up here, now it's now to a uh, regular um, ceiling height. It's still wonderful, wonderful space. This window was actually reproduced after being damaged in a uh, famous storm of 1962, uh, but was reproduced from photos of the house to keep exactly with the original style. We have a beautiful upstairs bathroom with original stained glass uh, uh, components to that window. Great woodwork throughout. Great, uh, here we can see the original tile work underneath this beautiful clawfoot bathtub. It's known as the dolphin room. Especially for dolphins because of this great aquatic chandelier, which I really love for bathrooms. That's great. And this is a particularly wonderful doorknob and plate. Just want to show that one off. Yeah. Very cool stained glass windows and original uh, woodwork and continuing on with the gorgeous doorknobs and plates. And a final office on the east side of the house with more Art Nouveau chandeliers, wood floors, and woodwork. Now, before we leave this top floor, I've got one more room to show you right this way. Of course, you saw the tour upside, outside, so you're wondering, what's at the top? Through here, through more stained glass, out on this fantastic turret. And the house is for sale right now, so we've got this banner in the way, but you can clearly see how gorgeous the view is to the downtown.
And from this angle, we can check out one final really cool part of the exterior of this house that you never see, wood gutters. When you're a wood baron building a home, you're not gonna make yourself metal gutters. All right, let's go check out the basement. So here I am back in what was the formal dining room. We went right by this door wondering what's behind it? I'm gonna show ya. Here would, we would be coming down to what was originally This very simple, modest area was where meals would have been prepared by the servants and then sending stuff upstairs via dumb waiters that would go up to the servants' quarters and then out to the dining room area. It could be used as a kitchen because you're right next to a source of heat, the original coal-burning boiler for the home. The original coal-burning boiler is, is still here but has since been converted over to gas. I love that they kept this in place with all of its original coal doors. And how would they get the coal in here from outside? Delivered by horse and cart. It would have come into where those garages are now and then brought up along these stairs that have their ramp running in right here. So they would have been able to pull the cart right up from the garage area. Well, that's it for this weekly walkthrough. Thank you so much for uh, watching this very special episode. Just once again, a rundown on this house. This gorgeous Victorian built in 1892 is uh, eight bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms, 5,000 square feet. Just a fantastic property. If you get a chance to view it, I highly recommend it. Uh, my special thanks also to realtor Seth Prickett for uh, providing us access to this house with uh, Legacy Real Estate. Our very special thanks to him. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to catch more of these videos and check out my Facebook page where I announce lots of special announcements. Have a great week, guys. I'm Alex Roy, working hard for your success.